you. you. Give me all Give me your blood beads. If you don't, you're gonna get hurt. Look at me, being threatened by a little boy. I must be letting my image slip. I'm not a little boy! Now hurry up and hand him over, lady! What did I say? You're just a little boy. Still, I have to admire your guts. <laughs> Go on. Do what you want. I'll end up dead anyway if I don't bring those blood beads back. Why? Is someone making you collect the beads for them? What's it to you? You plan on giving alms to a poor, miserable thrall. I'm not giving you anything. You'll have to make your own way in the world. What I can do is offer you a job. I need someone to scout out the place marked on this map. Think you can handle that? The map led me to a fully laden blood spread, tucked neatly out of sight. It was so well hidden that I never could have found it on my own. She'd sent me to the trove alone and unsupervised, so she couldn't very well complain when I took every last blood bead. After all, who am I to turn down an offer like that? I doubt I'll ever see her again anyway. was that? Talk about your unexpected trips down memory lane. Yeah, even if I don't want to. Most revenants have lost the majority of their memories. I guess I'm something of an oddity in that respect. I've still got almost all of them. And the things I want to forget aren't going anywhere. <laughs> Lucky me, right? Looks like you have the ability to restore people's memories. If you happen to find anything related to me, be sure to let me know, okay? I'll make it worth your while. There could be something out there that I've forgotten. And if that's the case, I want to see what it is. So the kid found the blood spring after all, hmm? Maybe I did, and maybe I didn't. Well, wow, Carmilla, Carmilla. Certainly, certainly been a while. Been a while. I, thought I thought you might have gone, gone off and joined the Lost. The lost. I, thought I thought the same, the same of you. Of you. I, guess I guess we're both, both resilient. Did you find, Did you a, find boyfriend a boyfriend or something? Or something? You look you livelier, livelier than usual. usual. Don't, Don't be ridiculous. ridiculous. I'm, just I'm just babysitting, babysitting for a while. while. Enough, Enough chit-chat. Hand, Hand over the goods. Fine, fine. Here you are. That's everything. That's everything. And I don't, and I don't take, take refunds, refunds all right? All right. That Coco. So that's what that no refunds business was about. She gave me a lot more than our original deal. <sighs> that girl's getting too soft for her own good. Thanks. Carmilla. Her tongue was sharp, but she was nice deep down. I haven't seen her since then. I hope she's still out there being her same old resilient self. Well, I guess none of my memories are floating around out there, huh? <sighs> oh. 
I had a son. I was hoping you'd find memories related to him. Well, anyway, it was a long time ago, and the story's really not all that interesting. But if you do find something, please let me know. I'm looking, I'm looking for the, for the woman, woman in this, in this picture. picture. Do you know, Do you know anything, anything about her? About her? I, haven't I haven't seen her, seen her around. around. What's, her, What's her, name? her name? Jessica. I don't, I don't know, her, don't know her, her full name. Hmm. I'll go, I'll ahead, go ahead and put, put in a word, word with some people, some people I, know, I know, but it could but cost, it cost you. you. The price doesn't matter. Just tell me what you find out. I've put, I've put together, together some, some info, info on someone, someone we think, think is your woman. Your woman. Wow. wow. Didn't, Didn't expect, expect so much. So much. With, With this, this much information, information, I think I can... No. no. I, know I know that I can track her down. down. So, so, how much, how much do, I do I owe you? you? First, First, I want to know, know who she is to you. She's someone important to a man I care deeply about. I think, I think I understand. understand. Well, in that well, case, you can, case, you can pay, pay me after, after you find her. her. Are you Are sure? You sure? But, but why? why? Information, Information like this like couldn't have come cheap. cheap. Let's just Let's say just I'm say happy, happy to help a woman with a mission. With a mission. Give, me Give me whatever you can afford. Can afford. And, find and find a happy, a happy life. life. That felt like it was just yesterday. I wonder if Naomi ever achieved her goal. Anyway, don't go pulling up memories like those. I have a reputation, you know? Uh, come on, give me a break. Who wants to know something like that? You're a real character, you know that? Still no memories of mine, huh? Mm, that's okay. I probably should have figured as much. Well, I guess that must mean I haven't lost anything then. Well, you are risking your neck out there, so I guess being honest with you is really the least that I can do. I told you that I had a son once, right? Ever since the day he was born, he had always been a frail kid. This was back before the Great Collapse. As a single mom, I was struggling just to keep the two of us alive. Some of the stuff I did. Well, let's just say it wasn't exactly legal. But I promised him that no matter how hard it got, we'd still live our lives our own way. But in the end, they told me I was unfit to be a parent. And they took him away from me. I don't know. I guess they decided that I didn't have what it would take to raise my own kid. I didn't know how else to get him back, except by breaking my promise and trying to live as everyone wanted me to. Not long after that, I learned his disease had gotten worse, and he had passed away. It was just a single page they sent in the mail. I remember every day we spent together. How could I forget? But if there was something I'd forgotten without realizing... Like, me rushing to see him one last time before he died. That would have been nice. But that's just a fantasy, I guess. But you have, you know? You've really done a lot for me. I'm sorry for sending you on such a wild goose chase. Still, I guess I did end up learning some nice things, though. 
So thank you for that. Anyway, I'm going to keep living the way I want to from now on. I refuse to break my promise to him a second time. My advice for you is to head out there and do the same. No matter what path you choose, I'll be behind you 100%.